Rainer Cassell, you ain't a hell of a GAO. Well, I have an incessant curiosity about Korean culture. So whenever I stumble across something that's, I don't know, interesting, even if it's a tiny insight, I tend to watch it anyway. And I found something uh, that was very amusing today. And it's a little animated thing. Uh, it says Koreans versus Korean Americans. And it really talks about, uh, well, you'll see. Um, I found it uh, interesting. I think it's the person who's doing the um, uh, did the animation is in fact a Korean American talking about Koreans. So it's uh, it's amusing. It was fun, um, and so let's take a look at it. <laughs> what the heck? Why not? I, I looked at it a little while ago, and I thought it was amusing, and I wanted to share it. There's these weird things that Koreans do, but generally from the ones that spawned in Korea. The first of the three is what I call the mid-sentence slurp. It sounds like this. <laughs> It's like their version of, um, but there's a problem sometimes. If the person has some saliva buildup in their mouth and they do a mid-sentence slurp, it becomes even slurpier and you just hear all the slurp reverberating in their mouth. Number two. <laughs> This one always stands out in all the dramas. And when my, my wife's uh, making fun of me, she gives me one of these, you know, in between things. But I tend to, when I finish a drink, I go, ah, as opposed to, I guess I'm not Korean. That's the sound Koreans make when they're in disbelief. It's also the sound Koreans make when they drink strong alcohol. Now these first two mannerisms combined don't even trigger me as much as this third one. When Koreans are talking and, again, need a filler for a pause, they go, hmm? It has the same feeling of saying, right? I'll have to watch out for this one, because, you know, I, you already know how many Korean dramas I watch. I spend at least two hours and sometimes four hours a day watching Korean dramas. So, uh, and I've not really noticed that one, but I'll look for it now. It's that little at the end that turns it from you're Ray. Am I right or am I wrong? Hmm? Means to question something. But I guess in Korea, hmm? Means that they were stating something. Don't you guys also find it too harsh? Huh? As an anime hobbyist, I learned in anime that in Japanese culture, okay, bear with me, it's rude to say, huh? When you're confused. And instead, you would say, eh? So it seems that there is a natural feeling that, huh? Sounds inappropriate and condescending. MBTI, Myers-Briggs Type Indicator. MBTI is basically a personality test. You go online and answer some questions and you get a four letter combination back that depicts your personality. And there's 16 possibilities. I found that a lot of Koreans are obsessed with MBTIs. Yeah, and I only know about it because I watch Korean dramas and they talk about it. And so of course I've taken the test a couple of times and I come out uh, very consistently as either an INFJ-A or an ENFJ-A because I'm the kind of person who's both introverted and extroverted. It depends on the situation. Uh, I, I'm really comfortable spending long hours alone. That's why I was a programmer for over 30 years. And I also really enjoy socializing, as you can probably tell because I'm with you now. <laughs> What is your MBTI? I don't know. 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 It's like a dating profile. If you want to introduce yourself quickly, you share your MBTI. But if you're to tell me that you're an ESTP, then that's all I can think about you. It gives me this confirmation bias that everything you're about to do is going to be pointing to the ESTP attributes. And so you're spontaneous and a go-getter. If I know your personality type, I feel like I don't need to feel you out and try and figure out who you are. I'd rather discern who you are as a person through genuine conversation, not just from some four letters. It doesn't feel like I have integrity if I didn't want to talk to someone based on their personality traits. I mean, there are definitely personalities I enjoy hanging out with more, but there are definitely some unique hybrid personalities that I get along with even though our MBTI say we wouldn't get along well. An MBTI quiz is something like this. Did you talk to someone in real life today? Yes. Did you like it? Yeah. Oh my gosh, so you're an extrovert. You must also be outgoing and spontaneous, organized, and you definitely work well in groups. I was just kidding. I didn't talk to someone in real life today. Oh, 
So was it because you stayed at home the whole time or you just didn't want to talk to anyone outside? I stayed home. Oh my gosh, so actually you're an intro. If you give me this quiz a different time of day, before or after a meal, depending on how much I slept the night before, how many times I used the bathroom today, I can probably get a couple different MBTIs. This is also why you should never let me grade essays, because depending on my focus and mood, I could give the same essay an A or an F. Iced Americano. Iced coffee is cold and refreshing, but I'm seeing a little too many Koreans with one of these in their hands. A cup of coffee in the morning isn't enough for you? Because if I drink another cup of coffee midday, I'd be needing to wee wee 10 minutes later and then once the caffeine hits, I'm going back to the bathroom to bomb. An Iced Americano is the drink equivalent to owning an iPhone. You know. Really well, I gotta tell you that uh, I never heard of an Iced Americano until I started watching uh, Korean dramas. Um, I mean, I love coffee, but I, I always think of coffee as hot. And I'm always, I've, it's taken me a long time to get used to the idea when someone asks for a coffee in a Korean drama, it's always an iced Americano. I don't really care what it is. You just saw other people showing it off. So now you have to, too. That's what a trend is called, Kevin. No wonder you don't know. You wear the same outfit every day. I don't have anything against an iced Americano, but when I see people outside holding an iced coffee in their hands, I just know they didn't buy that coffee because they need caffeine. They bought it so they can show everyone they're about to do some productive stuff. All right, Kevin. So it sounds like you're an ISTJ, introvert, <laughs> because you don't talk to anyone, censor, because you're too much into facts, thinker, because you're not empathetic at all, judging. Did you watch this whole video? Okay, but that doesn't mean... As you see that this thing made me chuckle, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. I find it amusing. Uh, I ran across it this morning, thought I'd share it, but uh, <laughs> that's it. Uh, there's really, it's just amusing. <laughs> Talk to you later. Okay.